of your divine light and illumination. Does size really matter? In the realm of mineral, crystal, stone for healing application as well as magical ritual manifestation for amplifying prayer, for amplifying all manner of manifesting in spiritual work, there is no one absolute answer to that question. Indeed, the smallest crystal, even a, a piece of a crystal, will still maintain and hold the complete charge and vibration of the full, undamaged mother piece. Just like our skin cells, our DNA patterns hold the blueprint, if you will, of a whole organ or a whole body in manifestation. For, for jewelry, smaller crystals are obviously more common. There, there comes an issue of design, there comes an issue of weight, and many people cannot handle a lot of weight uh, on their ears or uh, around their neck. Um, many people assume correctly um, that even this piece that I wear would be extremely heavy on the average person. So size in that regard does matter. When we look at much larger projects, amplifying prayer work and prayer groups, meditation even, we tend to want to move towards larger pieces, still maintaining um, a balance in proportions, if you will. And, and let me make clear, because I didn't say that before. When you're working with the smaller crystal, you're definitely going to want the most perfected pieces, pieces that don't have damage, pieces that points have not been harmed or, or chipped away in any way. Um, clearer pieces, the clearer the better when you're talking about small crystals, particularly jury quality pendants, amulets, things of that nature. When you start to get into larger sizes for personal meditation, um, then you may have crystals that have some wisps of mist in them, clouds in them, other inclusions in them, which bring new character and new usages to that particular tool. Still wanting to maintain uh, perfected angles and points and windows as much as possible. You, you don't want to damage your crystals and, and cause them to be altered in their vibratory pattern. Uh, as I said before, even the smallest chip off a of crystal will still hold the original pattern. But as far as utilizing it in ritual work, in magic, in manifestation, um, you want to maintain perfected pieces. Uh, as a musician, I'm very in tune with the sound, tone, vibration. And when you tap a crystal, gently with a fingernail or, or, or with a, a other stone, you will hear a tone. And I've noticed in my years of, of utilizing crystals, um, particularly longer, more uh, finger-like shaped stones, will tend to have a higher pitch. There's even a, a certain variety of quartz called singing quartz. When you rub the stone, it will actually emit sort of a high-pitched ringing sound. And when those stones become damaged somewhere in the facet, I've noticed a lowering of the tone. The tone tends to become denser. So in that regard, um, again, size does matter. When using pieces in meditation, I tend to like pieces that gently, almost naturally fit the hand. Um, they, they should fit comfortably in your palm. The, med the, the stones that you use for your for your meditation processes. And keeping in mind that we 
draw in and receive energy with our left hand which then travels to the right side of our brain and right brain activities are generally seen to be those that are receptive that are spiritual that are empathic the right hand typically is seen as a projecting hand a hand in which we release energy a hand in which we create and recreate with so when we are in meditation with our stones we want to typically use stones that in the left hand operate to draw and bring in that which we are trying to produce and reproduce and with the right hand that which we want to project release let go of as well as create and recreate here and now in our present reality so in coming days I will be doing many more videos as it relates to crystals in response to the many requests for my doing more crystals and indeed I understand the importance of our understanding this sacred knowledge and information crystals are our allies in balancing drawing in projecting generating vibrating energy they allow us to draw that which we need to grow to evolve to be as well as assist us in erecting spiritual and energetic boundaries if you will that allow things that we don't need things that could be harmful to us not to enter our space they're also very powerful allies in manifesting our dreams our deepest goals desires um, aspirations they are co-creators if you will with us in the meditative visualiz visualization process they assist us in filling in the gaps of our energy where we may need some extra help just as we do when we take vitamins minerals to fill in the gap of our dietary need so give thanks I will be bringing more quartz crystal wisdom and understanding in coming days all is indeed a blessing I say